Max, a kind and adventurous soul, was taking his three nephews on a trip. There was Quizzy, always bursting with questions. Then came Wanda, her eyes sparkling with wonder. And, and let's not forget Thinker, who pondered every little thing. Today's adventure was a visit to a grand palace, a place rumored to be filled with wonders. As they approached the palace, its towering walls and shimmering gates took their breath away. The doors swung open as if inviting them into a world of surprise. Stepping inside, they found themselves in a grand hall adorned with colorful banners and sparkling chandeliers. Wow. Whispered Wanda, her eyes wide with awe. Uncle Max, where are all the amazing things you promised? Patience, young one. We're just getting started. With a sense of anticipation, they ventured deeper into the palace, their hearts thrumming with excitement. Their journey led them to a room bathed in soft sunlight streaming through stained glass windows. As they stepped inside, gasps of amazement escaped their lips. The room was alive with a symphony of colors. Perched on gilded branches were birds of every imaginable hue. Emerald green parrots with wings spread wide seemed to be frozen mid-flight. Ruby-throated hummingbirds hovered near exotic flowers, their delicate wings a blur of motion. A majestic peacock with feathers fanned out in a dazzling display of blue and green dominated one corner. They're so beautiful, she whispered, her fingers tracing the air just inches from the bird's plumage. But to her surprise the peacock remained perfectly still. Next, they found themselves in a room that shimmered and sparkled. Sunbeams danced across walls adorned with intricate mosaics, bringing to life a dazzling array of lizards. There were geckos with emerald scales that glittered like jewels. Chameleons in shades of turquoise and orange seemed to blend into the colorful murals. Uncle Max, why is it not moving? Indeed, the iguana, despite its lifelike appearance, remained perfectly still. Maybe it's just sleepy. But the iguana didn't budge. The children exchanged puzzled glances. The animals were so lifelike, yet there was an undeniable stillness about them. The silence in the room, broken only by their hushed whispers, amplified the mystery. Their exploration led them to a grand hall, its high ceilings adorned with shimmering chandeliers. One side of the hall was dedicated to the wonders of the ocean. A giant octopus seemed to swim across the wall. On the opposite side, majestic creatures of the African savanna stood in silent splendor. A pride of lions, their golden manes gleaming, seemed ready to pounce. It's like stepping into a dream. Quizzy ran towards a playful-looking monkey hanging from a vine. He reached out to tickle it, but his fingers met only the cold, hard surface of the wall. A sense of bewilderment settled over the children. The animals, though breathtakingly realistic, remained eerily still. They had explored room after room filled with creatures from all corners of the world, yet none had moved a muscle. The silence, broken only by their own footsteps and whispers, was starting to feel unnerving. Uncle Max, are these animals real? Max, a knowing smile spreading across his face, paused for a moment, letting the suspense build. He gathered the children around him, their eyes wide with anticipation. My dear nephews, this palace holds a different kind of artwork. The animals you see are not alive in the way you might think. The children stared at their uncle, their faces etched with confusion. How could the animals not be real? They look so lifelike, so full of detail. Max, sensing their bewilderment, chuckled softly. These animals are masterpieces of art. They are paintings so skillfully crafted that they appear to be alive. He led them closer to a painting of a majestic lion, its golden mane shimmering in the light. He pointed to the intricate brushstrokes that mimicked the texture of fur, the way the light seemed to dance in the lion's eyes. Look closely, do you see the artist's hand at work, the way the colors blend and the details come to life? The children, their initial confusion giving way to awe, examined the painting with newfound appreciation. It's astonishing. Quizzy, his earlier impatience forgotten, peppered his uncle with questions about the artist, the paints, the techniques used to create such lifelike images. That day, the palace revealed its true wonders to the children. It wasn't a place of living wonders, but a treasure trove of artistic brilliance. Inspired by the masterpieces, Max shared his love for art with his nephews. He transformed a corner of the palace into a makeshift art studio. Under Max's guidance, the children discovered the joy of creating art. As the sun set, they admired their handiwork, realizing that inspiration comes from imagination. Their palace adventure ended with joy, creativity, and cherished memories. Written by Wicklife Awidi. Email. Wicklifeawidi at hotmail.com. Country, Canada.